Hello and welcome to the channel everyone. My name is Amos from Symmetry Aquatics. In today's video, we want to talk about what is referred to as RT60. So what exactly is RT60? RT60 is a term that is used in acoustical engineering uh, to describe how, uh, how long it takes for a signal to die down by 60 dB after it has been played. So let's take for example, I'm in a large auditorium or a large church with high ceiling, uh, hard surface untreated and glass uh, windows and such like stuff and I clap my hands in that uh, kind of environment. Let me give you a good example of how that sounds. Now I'm clapping my hands in a church or a large auditorium with a reverb time of around 5 seconds. That's how uh, RT60 uh, of 5 seconds sounds like. Let me reduce that reverb time to 30, I mean 3 seconds. So that's how uh, a reverb time of 3 seconds sounds like. Now, in relation to that, let's come to home studio. Uh, the main reason why we treat home studios, and uh, uh, especially for mixing and mastering, uh, is because we want to reduce that reverb time. Uh, conventionally, people talk about reducing the echo, but uh, in more professional terms, we talk about uh, cutting down the RT60 uh, or RT20 or RT30, uh, which we'll get into later. But for now, let's talk about RT60 or reverb time which is the main reason uh, we do acoustic treatment. Now, uh, a lot of home studios, most uh, home studios, uh, due to their size, normally have a reverb time of around 800 milliseconds to one second uh, or 1 1.5 seconds. How does that sound? Now, let me play a vocal at a reverb time of 1.5 seconds. So this is how it sounds. <laughs> Let me play now uh, music that is a combined frequencies uh, from low frequency to high frequencies at a reverb time of uh, 1.5 seconds, which is the untreated home studio. <laughs> And uh, to the extreme, let's play music again, the same music, at reverb time or RT60 of around 5 seconds. You can hear at 5 seconds, it's almost impossible to hear uh, between the instruments or the vocals, everything is smeared up. Uh, because the, the decay it takes so long for the sound to decay, the decay is, is the decay time is so high. Now that is the main purpose of uh, acoustic treatment for all these kind of scenarios. Uh, let's talk about a uh, light charge, for instance, with a reverb time of five seconds. The way we we'll treat a light charge is not the same way we we'll, we'll, uh, treat maybe a mixing room or a tracking room, uh, for that matter. Uh, a, a light charge uh, or auditoriums are exactly designed to sound uh, large. So the main goal of treating a space like a church and reducing the reverb time or RT60 uh, to bring it down from 5 seconds to maybe around 3 or 2.5 seconds. We still want to hear the, 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 the nature of the, the, the large space in auditorium in large churches. We do not want it to be like a home studio or a, 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 a smaller space. It needs to be uh, still a larger space but with a controlled decay time. Okay, now let's get to home studios and see how uh, things are here. Uh, you can see uh, I have two signals here. One is a red signal, uh, the other one is green signal. You can see a uh, red signal is on top of the green signal. So red signal is a, I mean red uh, line is a untreated room, green line is treated room. Now looking closely uh, at this test here, this room here uh, has very high reverb time towards the lower frequencies it shows that 60 at 60 uh, we can see at 60 hertz we have reverb time of uh, around 750 milliseconds which is very high uh, due to the nature of these small studios we have probably the room modes and the standing waves uh, so that is why it, it's very problematic to control these frequencies for home studios small home studios like this one here uh, when we head to around 100, uh, 100 hertz here you see uh, the reverb time is reduced from uh, around 500 milliseconds all the way down to around 300 milliseconds, which is not bad. Uh, moving from 100 hertz going upwards, now you can see significant uh, reduction in reverb time 
from here we have all the way from 140 150 hertz all the way to 200 hertz we have re reduction in reverb time from 550 milliseconds to uh, around 250 milliseconds which is not not bad also now if you look at this the entire graph all the way through you can see there's a, a, a reduction in reverb time all from 100 hertz all the way to uh, around 4 kilohertz and above which is the main purpose of acoustic treatment uh, for these home studios so this is the main reason why acoustic treatment is critical you can you can hear uh, the stereo imaging is enhanced we have a uh, center image focus uh, or they call it center image focus so center image focus means you can sit uh, at your speed sweet spot close your eyes and not be able to tell which speaker is on the left side or on the right side now that is that is a beautiful thing because now you get a very good stereo imaging also uh and separation so all those things they, they are they are able to be achieved by good acoustic treatment uh good coverage a situation where you can just for those who are missing you can pan your signal or, or an instrument to the left and maybe at five percent just a small percentage already you can hear the signal is on the other side of the speaker you don't need to pan all extremely like 50 percent or even sometimes a large amount of uh, panning wider so for, for you to be able to hear the difference if acoustic treatment is uh, uh adequately done you are able to hear the slightest difference in panning uh, and that is called uh uh sent i mean stereo separation or stereo imaging so thank you guys for watching subscribe like share if you like the content